Hello guys, my name is Crystal. I'm going to be doing a quick reading for Air Signs, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This is a love reading. Your current situation, you have time to go. This is a 45 card. 4 plus 5 equals 9. Nines are about endings. Okay, so there is definitely uh, round and round. Okay, so you guys might be going through something that's like some something that may happening. Oh my God, something is happening over and over and over, right? And it's like these patterns need to stop. Whether you're walking away from somebody in this relationship or you're trying to fix the patterns, something needs to be let go. You have by the book. It's like you guys are trying to take the steps that you guys are taking. You guys are being guided to take the steps that you guys need to take. And you guys are taking those. I don't know why I cannot talk for some reason. Okay, I'm going to get one of these. You have the sword and the rose, which is about clarity and truth, revelation. All right, so I feel like you guys are definitely um, realizing that there is some type of issue here and something's not changing. So I feel like you guys are ready to make a change, whether it is to walk away or fix it. I feel like you guys are ready to take those steps. You have give your relationship a chance. All right, so don't give up on this love, whether it's... Um, now, if you're in a bad relationship or in a relationship that you're not happy in, then you got to do what's, what's good for you. But this is saying work on your partnership. This can also be saying work on yourself. If you're, well, you know, you're starting to love yourself more, it's saying work on the love for yourself more. You have separation. You and your partner um, might be, you know, walking away from each other. All right, separation, time to go round and round. Maybe these cycles are too much for you guys to take, and it's just like you guys are ready to give up and walk away. I don't know if I yelled there, but I was telling my kids to shut the door. Okay, so you have the emperor. You could be dealing with the Aries, all right? But this is about, like, taking control back of your life. Um, he's also the father of the deck. So I feel like you're somebody who's very mature, very just, like, you know exactly what it is that you want, and you're putting your foot down, right? You have the Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, and the Moon. All these came in reverse. All these fell in reverse. So I feel like there's no more fear of being alone. There's no longer holding on to this because you're like, you know, you're seeing that it's not serving you anymore. Whatever this is, whether this is habits, whether this is, you know, anger or whatever it is holding on to this person that isn't working out for you guys. It's up, you know, take it all resonates for you. But it's like you're no longer letting fear stop you guys. You guys are taking control of your life. Emperor standing straight straight up, right? Your challenges, the devil card, there's, yeah, the devil and the seven of freaking swords, damn. Okay, you might have been with somebody who was like a master manipulator, a narcissist, somebody who's very controlling, manipulative, somebody who might be a liar or somebody that you can't trust. It's like you want to run away from this situation because you're feeling stuck, right? You were feeling stuck. That's your challenge, feeling stuck, feeling tied to something or someone that is just like not working out you could be dealing with a capricorn pisces or an aries here it's like in your past you have the ten of swords no sorry not in your past this is something that you know the ten of swords is about finality it's like you know this needs to be over right you know something something here needs to end right because it's not serving you it's draining your energy you're feeling emotionally drained you know it's not just your energy it's your emotions too you have the king of wands and the hermit card i feel like you guys came through a lot of realizations in the, in the current past right it's like you guys finally took a stand for yourself started realizing what it is that you guys do want i feel like you guys been on like this healing journey with the, the hermit the devil the moon i feel like you guys are on a spiritual journey at the moment and it's like you guys are finally taking control of your life it's like you guys see now right the clarity and truth card i see now you have the ten of pentacles for your future there is something long term it's also about an ending as well but it's also a new beginning one plus zero equals one so that's a new beginning here a stable new beginning is popping up for you guys okay you have the page of pentacles it's like trying to do things differently and learning to do you know new things there also might be a message that's coming in for you You guys might be waiting for some type of money as well with the um ten of pentacles and the page of pentacles there might be some money or a message coming in for you that's going to let you know that you're going to get a lot of money all right i feel like that's a lot of money but this is love reading okay so i'm going to still talk about this being this like long-term stability coming in for you okay so you see yourself as the four of swords reserved you don't really like open up to everybody you don't express yourself to everybody you don't trust everybody it's like you um i feel like you 
you sometimes need that alone time for yourself, right? It's like you also may not, um, you guys also may be healing from this situation. You, and you have four of cups too. So you guys are definitely feeling a little bit stuck here. Maybe you're feeling like you missed out on an opportunity or maybe you thought things were going to be a little bit differently than how they played out, right? So it might be something that came as like a shock and it's really hurting, you know, hurtful, let me say, right? Other people, you know, see you as the eight of swords. Like I said, closed off. Um, you might also be going through a lot of struggling um, or depression, you know, sadness, a lot of like negative thoughts here um wearing a blindfold on there's something that's going on that you don't want to see right and then the knight of wands other people see that you're very passionate about this thing that is stressing you guys out though all right actions and advice is the two of pentacles and three of pentacles it's like you have to make a choice whether to rebuild yourself um and how you're going to rebuild this right you have to make a choice there is a lot of opportunities or a lot of different um there's a couple different choices that you guys can make. I don't feel like it's just one, right? But I feel like there is, um, with the Two of Pentacles, it's also about, like, uh, taking on too much. So only deal with things that are necessary, right? If they're not relevant, do not pay attention to those. Do not put your energy into things that you know are not going to grow. In your future, you have the Queen of Wands. You have the King of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the Page of Cups. There could be a new relationship coming in for you guys, or it can just be like the new love of yourself, um, really just feeling happy with yourself, more passionate about life, connecting with more with nature and your spirituality, right? Just doing things for you. You have the Page of Cups, so there is a message coming in for you guys. Wow, the lover's card. <laughs> so there could be a new love coming in for you guys or a new start of a relationship that's going to be, um, you know, really good for you. The Queen of Wands, King of Wands, the Page of Cups, the lovers, right? You just need to be open and expressive. Don't hold back what you guys are feeling. You have the Queen of Cups. And the reason why I'm saying don't hold back is because the Queen of Cups is the only one with the cup over, with the lid over her cup, which means she doesn't express her feelings completely. So you might be somebody who kind of like holds it back, all right? And with the Page of Cups is saying that you guys should openly express yourself. Say what it is that you got, what you got to say. Be more expressive about your feelings. Like I said, with the Eight of Swords, the four, four of Cups, and then the Four of Swords, you guys might hold back a lot. I mean, and it might be not just, like, holding back because you don't want to say. It might be holding back out of fear of, like, what the other person's going to think or out of fear of what the person's going to feel or upsetting somebody. Don't worry about that. Worry about yourself. Sorry to say that. You have the Seven of Cups. Like I said, I knew that you guys multiple options. You guys have a lot of options, all right? This is also about, like, illusions and delusions. Don't fall for fake promises okay and then the bottom of the deck is the two of cups something that you guys don't see coming like i said there is an equal um give and take here coming in for you guys with the page of cups the lovers the two of cups the queen of wands the king of, like come on you can't get any better than that so i feel like you guys are getting yourselves out of this situation right now it's just keeping you guys stuck and you know i don't even feel like you guys see it yet but there is an opportunity coming in for you guys that is going to be something that's really good okay so just have faith and keep you know staying positive and things will get better for you guys don't allow the stress and the sadness to keep you guys stuck and keep you guys hidden from the world go out go meet people go enjoy your life you know what i mean all right so that's what i got for you guys if you guys like my content please like and subscribe if it resonates for you thank you so much for watching have a good day guys toodles